Well, former Vice President Mike Pence joined News Nation Wednesday night for a town hall hosted by our own Leland Vitter. In it, he took questions on everything ranging from the economy to abortion to LGBTQ rights. And Pence continues to trail his former running mate, Donald Trump, in the GOP primary, but is hoping to position himself as an alternative to the former president. And for reaction to that town hall, we welcome in Connell McShane, the <laughs> new host Hello. of News Nation. Nice. He'll hop into the anchor chair beginning on September 21st, on 25th, excuse me. One first off, welcome aboard. Thank you. Welcome. I, I was blown away by that open. We're going to do our show from New York, so we'll do the first one from the Hudson River. I'll it, swim from one side okay. to the other. Okay, stroking. And do uh -huh. we, we literally have reporters here who fight? Like, should I be afraid yeah. of tossing to, to Kelly? This for, newsroom is yeah, competitive. You should be. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. that is. So no get ready for no, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited. So. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, so the town hall was interesting. Uh, last night I watched the entire thing. I mean, think, you know, to your point, Nick, when you have uh, Mike Pence in there, you know what you're going to get. And I think for the most part, we got that last night. The people who admire the former uh, vice president probably admire his consistency. Uh, the fact that, as he pointed out to Leland, he's been the same man for 30 years. So if you want someone who's conservative and, and Christian mm -hmm. and Republican, as he talks right. about, that's Mike Pence. And that's what we saw. He's last known night. for family yeah. values. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's he, who he is. And also another moment that we wanted to play and replay back for the yeah. audience. You know, he talked a lot about government government funding last night and how his own administration yeah. handled it and that his own party could have done a better job uh, reining it in. Let's take a listen and play this real quick. Inflation was at a very reasonable pace during the four years of the Trump-Pence administration. It wasn't until Joe Biden became president with that Democrat Congress that they, they passed a $2 trillion spending bill all in the name of COVID that was completely unnecessary. I got to tell you, so you're okay with the 3.4 trillion you spent? No, I didn't say I was. I, okay. You know, I'm a, I'm a conservative, but I'm not in a bad mood about it. But okay. I, people that know my record in Congress and as governor know I'm a pretty tight-fisted fiscal conservative. I think we could have done a better job controlling domestic spending in this country. That was the one interesting point, because I think if you're going to look at this big picture, you would say that Vice President Pence didn't really go after the person he's going to have to beat for the yeah. nomination, you know, uh, the former president, uh, Donald Trump. But he did in that one moment start to go after the administration, which he was obviously a part of, saying that as vice president, he didn't support all the spending. And, you know, that's a fair criticism of Republicans, just objectively, if you look at it. They're always been, for years, the party that tries to rein in spending. Mm -hmm. But in that administration, that really wasn't the case. And the vice president, uh, former vice president, did point that out, at least that, in that moment last and night. And how do you think that played for viewers when you stand up there on that town hall stage and you say, yeah, we didn't do the best job? Well, then why are people going to vote for you, moderates, undecideds, who haven't made up their mind yet? I mean, well, that's why, how do you think that played? That's why being vice president is always one of the more... It's a very difficult position to be in politically, especially when you run uh, for president, because you're running on a record that isn't entirely yours. And, and former Vice President Pence talked about that last night, how he thought his job was to stand by President Trump. And I think that brings up the next point, which is if he's going to move, right, if you just look at it from where he is in the polls, I mean, it, he hasn't moved very far yet, maybe around 5 percent. You would think he's going to have to go after the former president, when he was asked by Leland why he's running for president, he didn't really do that. It was a long answer about policy. When we all know, if we're just looking at it, take a step back, why is Mike Pence running for president? January 6th is the real reason he's running for president. He was side by side with President Trump until that date. And after that mob rushed into the Capitol and there were people literally chanting, hang Mike Pence, that's the break between Donald Trump and Mike Pence. But we didn't hear much about that. And, you know, I'm sure there are strategic reasons for that, but we haven't heard Absolutely. much about it at all from the from Vice President Pence. Yet. Mr. Pence saying that he was with Mr. Trump until he decided to defend the Constitution. So Which he did. I mean, and that's, but he doesn't talk a lot about that in his campaign. He talks about it a little bit when he's asked by someone like us directly. Yes, he will talk about that, but he hasn't made it a centerpiece of his campaign. I would think the uh, the strategy behind that is that in a Republican primary, he doesn't think it plays very well. But again, if you're at five percent, nothing is playing very well right now. You might yeah. have to take some bigger swings at some point. Colin, before we go, tell us about the new show. Well, it's going to be an extension, I think, of what you guys have been building. I mean, we're all here for a reason, right? We yeah. all came here because of what News Nation is trying to put together, which is something I think that's unique, especially in cable news. So we like to think it's going to be 
fast paced, certainly fact based. And we have a terrific team we've been putting together over the last couple of weeks. We're going to get back to New York next week and start working on. So, you know, give it a shot. It's going to be a lot of what has already been built here. And I think hopefully we can add to that. Uh, great people here, yeah. by and the for way. Those that Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.